Hey guys, my name's Olivia Arizolo. I'm a sleep expert. With over nine years of academic qualifications, I've been featured on t the Today Show, Daily Mail, and write regularly with news.com.au. Now, in conjunction with Cinch Skin, today I am bringing you my top four tips to fight fatigue because nobody likes to feel exhausted and you don't have to with my support. <laughs> but before I go into my top four tips, I want to share with you a little something I love about cinch skin. So I travel a lot, like all the time, and <laughs> even in COVID, I seem to have gone from Melbourne to Sydney to South Coast of New South Wales. So, you know, travel's a big factor with me. And I love, love, love that cinch skin is cleansers without having to use water. Do you know how convenient this is? It's just like, you're just out and about and you're like, okay, cool. I just jumped off a plane or I just got off, got out of like a 12 hour car drive and you just freshen up and it feels really nice. So if you like that, the sound of that, then check out Tinch Skin. Right now, top four tips for fighting fatigue. Now as a sleep expert, I would be wrong not to tell you how to nap because that is one of the best tools up your sleeve. So you want to time it for 30 minutes. Keep the room dark. You want to wear an eye mask if possible and wet earplugs if you can. Um, making sure that you keep it to 30 minutes and no longer is critical because it prevents the body going into slow wave sleep. And if you go into slow wave sleep, that's when you are likely to experience sleep inertia, which is when your body wakes up and feels super groggy and almost like you're drunk. So make sure it's 30 minutes, no longer. Tip two for fighting fatigue, hydrate. So just a 2% drop in hydration levels cause lethargy, according to academic research. Now, how do you know that your body is hydrated or not, or that you've had this drop? Actually, being thirsty is a sign that you're dehydrated. So prevent this by being proactive and making sure that you're getting your 2.5 liters at least per day. <laughs> Tip number three for fighting fatigue. Now we are going to go outside and embrace that sunshine because by doing so, you help your body produce a hormone called serotonin, which reacts with the light. And serotonin is great because it helps you feel alert and awake. Now you also might know serotonin is the happiness hormone. So yes, being in the light does help you feel happy as well. And tip number four of fighting fatigue, make sure you're eating properly. Make sure you are nourishing your body. Make sure you are getting all of the nutrients you need. Um, so often we're busy, and might forget to eat and then we realize we're exhausted and often we actually just need a snack. <laughs> now making sure you are having your snacks designed from whole foods is really important and keep them as free from artificial ingredients as you can. Now they are my top four tips but for more valuable tips on fighting fatigue for more insight into how I improve sleep naturally. I want you to connect with me on Instagram. My name's Olivia Arizolo, and you if you type in sleep expert, I'll come up. Now, I look forward to seeing you there, and even if I don't see you until tonight, for example, I hope you've enjoyed this video and trust you have. I will see you very soon. <laughs>